Welcome everybody to the Chopstick Guys Stocking Stuffer Photography Spectacular. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. There's only one thing that we love more than eating food with chopsticks, and that's photography. Well, this truly is our favorite time of the year. <laughs> I, can't, I can't stop laughing. <laughs> nice sweater, and I look so beautiful. I know. Yeah, I know. You know, this is what happens when you raid the wife's closet for ugly sweaters. This is what you end up with, everybody. <laughs> hey, welcome to the Stop and Stuffer Spectacular. And this is Spectacular Year 2018, our second yes. annual Stop and Stuffer Spectacular. Exactly. So without further ado, let's not talk a lot today. Let's go straight into our Stocking Stuffers deals of the year. This is the stuff that we think should be stuck in exactly. our stocking. What do you got? Well, the first thing on my list is the Jodas Rocket. You've got a number of different sizes, colors available. Here's a large, and then here's a small rocket. So These things are amazing. They're why? silicone, so they're not going to pick up a bunch of dust. They're not going to stick to it, but you can blow your sensor, your lens, things off all the time. These things are I a blow it all the time. Exactly. You just don't want these in your suitcase when you're going through baggage claim, because these are really difficult to explain what they're for. You notice what I put on mine? Lens, Lens cleaner, cleaner, right? So it, everybody knows. It looks like some kind of, you know. That's right. So what, you should already own one of these. If you don't have a Jodas rocket blower, this ought to be in your stocking. They, they actually, it, it is, in all seriousness, it's the thing you want to do. That's you right. But hey, you know what I got? And I actually did this last year, but these things are something that I use every single day and what is it what is it oh my goodness it's the zeiss wipes yes carl zeiss lens wipes now i do wear glasses you can see so i use them for my glasses but they work spectacularly well for our camera lenses yeah, they don't leave a residue no these things are fantastic now you don't want to just wipe your lenses with your t-shirt and all that kind of stuff these things will not harm your glass they don't leave like mark said any residue they work incredibly well and you know what the best part is Yes, they're deep, you know. right? <laughs> These really should be in every photographer's stocking this year. They are extremely inexpensive. Yes. They are the best lens wipes money can buy. Every camera bag that I own has 10 of these in That's every Not bag. 10 boxes worth, but the 10, 10 wipes in 10 every wipes. bag at all times. They're just amazing. Just amazing. All right. The next thing on my list is the Sony Tough. SD cards. These things are amazing. These are 299 megabytes per second that these record on. So with our cameras today, we're getting bigger, I say, huger files. Huger files. And it takes a long time okay, sometimes so, to write cards. So I know these are fast, but what's the big deal about these Sony cards? These things are virtually indestructible. If you look at the back of the card, you'll see it's different than most cards you've gotten in the past. So what they've done is they've eliminated that possibility that you're going to drag the edges and break off the little tips. So they've made these things where they just run and they're fast. Super fast. You know, you need to every year, you should be updating your cards. This is one thing I didn't do for the longest time. Right, we're all guilty of that. Exactly. Because you just go, you know, I got a bunch of those other cards. This is generally where... When we have failures, this is where they fail, is in our cards. We yep. ruin our cards. And it's not a lot of times because the cards fail. It's because the cards get broken. So Sony Tough. They Sony have... Tough. They're a little more expensive. They are more expensive. That's for They're sure. uh, 32 gigs right now at about 75 that's bucks. That's a lot of money. That's, it's, that's a lot of money for a stocking stuff. It too. really is. But yeah. I'll tell you what. If you're recording any type of video, you're recording with a camera that's come out in the last two years, you have to be using these cards because they'll write so much faster. You know the problem with drinking hot chocolate when you are uh, wear glasses is I can't see a thing after it's I take a sip. Well, hey, the next thing on the list, I'll show you if Sony has their own card reader. What a lot of people don't realize is today is that they get faster cards, but your system, as far as downloading, is only as fast as the card reader. So a lot of us have like USB 2 card readers that are sitting on the desk or that we stick in our bag all the time. Don't do it. Don't Stop do it. it. You need to upgrade it. Uh, my favorite, though, I use this Sony one as my portable, my ready to go. This. Uh, just came out along with the tough card, Tony, Sony, not Tony. Tony, Sony, Tony. Hey, Tony, uh, you're a tough card. Those tough cards. 
but I love the Kingston USB 3.1 uh, high-speed media reader because you know why? I fly a drone. I have uh, also I'll pull out an old uh, camera once in a while that uses compact flash. I still need to be able to read those things. This just reads compact flash cards. So there you go. Cards, card reader. And it fits nicely in a stocking, I have Perfect to say. So stocking. no matter what size stocking you have, that's the item yes. for you. So what do you got? Oh man, I have got a fun one. This is this is fantastic. So this is the Low Pro M Trekker bag. This thing, you know what I love about it? I know what you love about okay. it. Okay, I love this size. When you look at this one, maybe it's hard to see when I'm it's against my black. But this thing is super slim, right? It is, but it's deceiving of what this thing will hold. Yeah. So what I love about it is just it is small. It's a back loading. Case, which we love the back loading we do for, for security, safety, and security when we're traveling. But check out this tiny but little backpack. This little thing. So what I have in here right now, I've got all kinds of stuff. I've got Sony mirrorless camera. I've got my uh, gimbal with my action cam on it that we film a lot of stuff with. Yep. I've got my drone controller. I've got a couple of lenses, all kinds of batteries, all kinds of stuff. So that fits right in here. Now, here's the cool part is it also fits a a laptop, a laptop up in that same yep. compartment or and a large iPad. So you can do both. So yeah. you know, I will with mine, I'll stick my surface in there and a tablet. So what do I have up here? I've got the uh, the battery charger, no drone, the drone, right? All that kind of stuff all inside here. Now if you're going to stuff your stocking with a bag, you might as well step up with all the goodies inside the bag, right? So that would be cool. But this thing is just amazing. So, you know, like, like Mark said, for travel, this can't be beat. We do a ton of traveling, and we want to be as inconspicuous while we're traveling That's as possible. Right. This allows us to do it. Here's the problem. Super, super is bad. any international flights now, I know a lot of you don't do international flights, but if you're an international flight, there's a weight limit of about 15, 15 pounds. pounds. One bag, 15 pounds. Here's the problem. With most of our backpacks, they start at about four to five pounds. So suddenly you go, well, that just eliminated maybe a camera body and a lens. This thing is like a pound and a half when it's empty. Yeah. And uh, it's just, it's a great bag. So a little bit People always ask, like, why do we have so many bags? Because it's not just because we love bags, we love them, but it's because every bag has a different use, right? How many bags do we currently own? Between us, we counted yesterday. We counted yesterday and we figured right now, currently, that's not counting that's the ones that are collecting dust in the garage. 21, 21 bags. 21 bags that we use. Yeah. We have a disease. We <laughs> definitely have a disease. But then, this bag, guys, for 120 bucks, yes. it fits nicely in a large stocking. You've got to have a really big foot. Yeah. But uh, it's. Yes, these this year are going to India with us. They are. They, they are. were supplied by Low Pro. Um, we love these bags. For our trip with Focus of a Child. Yeah. Great, great bag. Fantastic. Now, I know that a lot of you uh, like to use your cellular telephones, your telephone or your <laughs> cell phone, to, <laughs> you use a you love to hear me say telephone. Yeah, we dial up. Uh -huh. To do video. Well, one of the things that I use all the time when I'm using my phone is this little Joby grip type POV, point of view kit. Pause. So It's the pod. The pod. But here's what I do. It just hooks my fingers in there. I use my thumb to control my, right here, I can control the tip Your of my uh, camera. So then I can hold this, instead of a selfie stick, it's rock solid, I can hang it, I can do all kinds of things. I actually have used it as my little kickstand to put it up behind, to put it up behind things, but I love this little Joby kit. It even has a hot shoe. So once in a while, we'll put like the little loom cubes yeah. on there if we need some light, if we just wanna film something on the go. So you need something like this. Now it's not a gimbal. I mean, it's not you know, it's not a stabilizer, right? It's exactly. as stable as your hands can be, but it allows you to hold your your. It, it allows you to not have to carry a selfie yeah. stick around it. It exactly. takes the place of a selfie stick. But I love the fact that I can articulate it with my. It also gets your fingers out of the way of the lens. It does. So that's a good one. There's a great item and a very inexpensive that item one that too fits, fits in the right stocking. in the stocking. Slide it on. Yes, love it. All right, I have got. The most expensive thing on our list. Ooh, what's it going to be? I don't like expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You, you're cheap, but you do like this expensive item. I do. What do we have? We have the Interfit Badger Unleashed. The big boy brother to the Honey Badger. The That's cool right. thing about the Interfit Badger Unleashed is it is now battery powered. That's right. right. 
and so, a little brother to the interfed S1. Yes. So what, what happened before, we loved our honey badgers, right? But we don't shoot a lot of studio stuff. A lot of our stuff is on location, remote, uh, doing events and things. This has really rocked our world and changed our life because it's small, right? This truly fits in your stocking. It fits in our camera bag perfectly. Yeah. You could even stuff it in that low pro bag if you wanted to. Exactly. But this thing will take every kind of modifier, the Bowens modifiers, everything. This is the light of the year. I Definitely. Think, I think. I mean, it just be, size alone makes it a workable light. I just super, love this thing. super fast refresh rate. Shoots high speed sync, TTL. All I, I look at it this way. Remember in the old days how much we loved our Alien B lights? Imagine an Alien B that you never had to plug in. That's what the Honey Badger, Badger Unleashed it is. is. It is. It's awesome. So this is the most expensive thing that's going to fit in your stocking this year, at least on our list. Who yes. knows what else is going to be in your stocking. But this thing, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It is the Bomb Diddly. <laughs> Actually, I'm not coughing. That was my segue to the next thing. In your stocking, this is going to sound a little bit funny, but how about some fisherman's friend? But we're not doing the fishing show. That's next week. <laughs> That's right. But no. So what are you talking about? What? I'm talking about the fisherman's friend lozen. These lozens. I can't say lozens. <laughs> a lozen. Well. Lozenger. Yes. Well, Lozen. these cough drops. <laughs> are extremely strong, but how many times have you been on a shoot when it needs to be quiet? You know, last weekend we were shooting a wedding and it was an outdoor wedding and we had snow. That's a difficult one just even Try when you're shooting an outdoor wedding. Even when you're feeling good, you get those spells where you gotta cough or you need to clear your throat. Uh, it, it's great to be able to throw one of those in. I used to tell everybody what you need in every camera bag. It was the cheapest thing to make you a better photographer and that was a pack of gum. Because there is nothing worse than a photographer with a bad, bad breath. breath. But fisherman's friend. Fisherman's friend. Don't be lost without one. Well, folks, we've come to the end of our list. That's right. Of stocking stuffers for the stocking stuffer spectacular. I think you might have saved the best for last, though. I think so. So when people ask us, what's one thing that I should buy my photographer friend for Christmas? There really is one thing that we say every single time yeah i don't care if you're a canon shooter a nikon shooter a sony shooter a pro photo light user an interfit lighter user a Godox light user an olympus it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. matter it doesn't matter this is it every photographer needs the spider holster in fact the spider holster pro this thing has changed the way we shoot it has changed everything about our photography we were just mentioning in fact mark was just talking about that wedding how, I don't know how we did weddings before we used the spider holes. Yes. yes. This thing is the best invention to ever come out in the photography world. Exactly. Like it's, it's we can't cool say thing. enough good about this product. This you know, product is an amazing product. Every photographer needs one. So the coolest thing about that, a lot of you guys have, have written to us and saying, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's you know that great because I haven't tried it yet because I use the belt system, right? Well, the problem with the belt system is they always pull down your pants. So you end up looking like Santa, right? <laughs> and he's pulling up his pants with the, the crack in the back. I don't want that one, especially when I'm shooting a wedding. This thing does not pull down your pants because it, it sits around your waist, yeah. right? And the best part is all the, the weight is distributed on your hip rather than That's your right. waist. So it does not pull down your pants. The, the thing doesn't slide down. All of my weight is gone. My weight is gone, my hands are free. <laughs> and your hands are free. That's the best part. It is. Having your hands free. Could you imagine right now trying to open your stocking to get all these wonderful gifts out of your stocking with a camera hanging around your no, neck? I, can't. I could not, but I could put it on my spider holster and now my hands are free to it's, remove things. It's phenomenal. It is phenomenal. So Spider Holster Pro, they even make a dual version. So if you want to look like you're gunslinging, like That's a cowboy, right. you can do that too. But it is the best thing out there. We hope that you enjoyed this and, and hopefully you pick something up for a loved one, a photographer friend of yours, or even a fisherman's friend. But, you know. <laughs> but we, we uh, just want to wish everybody out there a very, very Merry Christmas and a wonderful Happy New Year. We hope that you enjoy time with your friends and family. We know that we've enjoyed time with you this year and look forward to seeing you again in 2019. All right, everybody. Merry Christmas. And don't forget, say sushi. Hey, where are we going to lunch today?